So let's talk about cones. Uh, you've you've seen cones lots of times. So there's a there's a cone right there. Um, you can think of it aligned that way. You could think of it aligned so that circles on the ground as well. So cone is a circle uh, as a base, and then it has these two lines that come together and meet. And so um, notice on the cones we have a couple of different measurements here. We have a radius. And we also have a height, and the height of the cone is measured straight up to the tip, like that. Now, how do I find the volume of a cone? Well, it's kind of interesting. I know how to find the volume of a cylinder, right? It's the radius, the height. So it's the area of the base times the height. So it's pi r squared, area of the base, times the height. Now notice I can fit a cone. If it has the same height, I can fit it right inside the cylinder like that. And I'm just going to tell you, uh, this cone takes up one-third of the cylinder. So that means the volume is one-third of the area of the base times the height which is uh, one-third area of the base, pi r squared, times the height. And that's how I can find the volume um, of a cone. So I have here a cone. And for this uh, cone, I notice that it has a certain radius, right? It has this circle base. And then the height, remember the height isn't going to be this right here. This is actually called the slant height, this distance right here. The height goes from the tip of the cone to the center of the circle. So um, I have this radius. So I'm going to kind of sketch what I have here. I have this radius and this height. And then I have this, this kind of edge right here for the edge of the cone. And so notice that to find um, to find that S value, I basically just have a right triangle right here. So this S I can get by using Pythagorean theorem. R squared plus H squared equals S squared. So um, there we go. I know how to find S. It's going to be the square root of R squared plus H squared. So I know how to find that distance. Um, so let's get at this idea of the surface area of this shape. So what is this going to look like as a mat? Well, let me cut it. So as I go to cut this thing, this cone, uh, first off I'm just going to cut along the edge right here. So I know that it's going to have this circle that kind of pops out like this. Just take my time. Cut, cut, cut. Give it a couple more little cuts here. So you can see the cone with a circle flipped open like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut down the edge of the cone too. And I hope you can visualize what it's going to be, if make it some sort of prediction. So I'll just cut down the edge of this cone. And then I unroll it. And look what it is. It's a semicircle. It's a part of a circle. So, I'll lift this up now. Sorry about that. So here, here it is. So if I'm trying to get the surface area of this, I know that this is the radius. So this is just going to be pi r squared. Um, this distance right here, that's my s. So remember, I could find s by going um, r squared plus h squared using Pythagorean theorem. So I can find that. Now this right here is just the wedge of a bigger circle. You know, if I if I extend this out like this, notice how there's the center and I have this larger circle that's right here. So this is just finding the area of this is just that wedge problem that we've done. So I have pi r squared, that's easy. So how do I find the area of this of this wedge? Well, this distance right here is the circumference around that circle. Remember it wrapped up around that circle. So this distance right here is 2 pi times the radius. 
right? Circumference of this circle. This circle just winds out to that. Now, if I think about this bigger circle that this wedge is a part of, if my radius is S, that bigger circle, the whole shape that it goes all the way around, that is two pi times S, two pi times the radius of that big circle, that right there. So I'm gonna think about what fraction of the whole circle this is. Like the big circle, if I want the area of the big circle, it's uh, pi S squared. But I have some fraction of that circle. And the fraction would be the distance around the whole circle um, in a ratio to the distance of just that wedge. So if I go the two pi divided by R and I divide that by the distance around the whole circle, 2 pi divided by s, that's my fraction. So what fraction of the whole circle is this wedge? It's that right there. And what's great is 2 divided by 2 is 1, pi divided by pi is 1, and then notice I have s going into s squared. So this s divides out one of those s squareds, and all that's left is r times pi times s. So the area of this part is pi times r times s. So now if I want to find the surface area of that cone, I can figure out what this is and add it to that. So the surface area is basically pi times rs plus pi times r squared. So for the surface area of a cone, remember we're going to um, think about cutting it open, where this is uh, this is the wedge of a, of a bigger circle. We talked about how to find its area. Its area is um, r times pi times s. We could write that as sr pi or pi rs. And then this circle, the top of the cone, this part of the cone right here, is uh, since that's the radius as well, uh, right there, it's 2, uh, sorry, it's pi r squared for its area. So the surface area of a cone is pi r squared, this part, plus um, r pi s, or you could say rs pi or something like that. For, for this wedge area right there.